Hi everyone, today's pattern is going to be my own personal silver bug. It's a pattern I devised a few years, well quite a few years ago for fishing coloured murky water uh, in a river during a flood or as the flood is receding. So the first thing we do, we take the pattern of the vise and we place our beaded hook and this is Let's set it correctly. The hook is going to be from the Partridge of Redditch Patriot range and it's the wide gate jig hook and it's a SLJ and it's a size 12. Okay. <clears throat> the bead is a slotted bead and it's a gun metal and it's a four millimeter. You slip it up, position it, take some Sally Hansen's or some clear varnish and we smear a little bit onto the shank and a little bit onto the bead. Okay, then we take some lead, some round lead, and we put a few turns on, starting from the centre of the hook, working towards the bead. Touching turns, this adds weight to the pattern and also makes the bead nice and solid. Put your finger on, pull it off, that's done. Now we take some black sheer silk, this is 14 0 We put a dam behind the lead, and then we run a few turns of silk up through the lead. A few turns behind the eye, and back down. Trim away the waist. Take your silk up to roughly behind the bead. We take a cock pheasant centre tail, which has been dyed black. Pull a few fibres off, maybe 10, 8 or 10. Pull them so they tip to tip. Remove them from the quill. Place them on like so to create our tail. And when we get the length required, pinch them. Two turns of silk, pull them back and secure them, working down towards the tail section, as so. And when we're there, we take up a length of silver wire. Okay, we move the silk back up towards the eye. Catch it in on the side, a few turns, and tie it down to the tail section there. And the reason for doing that. Coming back up and down the hook is to even the body out because you've got a break there from between the lead and the shank of the hook. This just takes up the gap. <clears throat> and to create the body, we take some silver mylar. This is gold and silver. We cut a wedge into the mylar, like so, to tie it in easier. And what this does is when you catch it in, it makes the tying or the wrapping of the mylar a lot easier. Yeah, because if you tie it in and it's the profile of the mylar, it makes it awkward and it gives you a lump at the back. By cutting that wedge out, it makes it life a lot easier. Now we take the cock pheasant tail, pull it back, catch it in at the tail section. Give three or four. Good tight turn so nothing moves, and then take our silk up nice and neatly towards the bead and leave it behind the bead. Now our mylar, silver towards you, just work up and form a body. Slightly overlapping turns, and so. Maybe one more, right tight to the bead. Turn yourself around, drop it in. Three or four turns, pull it tight, trim away. Okay, just get rid of that tag there. Right, now we take our rib, okay, hold everything out of the way. 
one complete turn around the base of the miler and then we pull our pheasant over the top like so and we use the rib to trap the pheasant tail up the back of the pattern as so right up to the bead get there turn it around trap it in one two third turn looking good just adjust the hook hold the part hold the hook and just worry the wire away got one poking out there we'll get rid of him that's good make sure it's sitting nice and neatly at the back of the spine of the hook like so one more turn, put the silk in front of the fair's end, and now we roll the fair's end around in one complete turn to form a collar. Pull it, take the silk around, one, two, three, another one, roll the hook around, and trim the fair's end away piece by piece. Don't do it in one lump because it cuts and it makes like a, a stub effect. But when you do it bit by bit, it just disappears. Work finish tool. Work finish behind the bead. Trim the silk away. Make sure everything's nice and neat. Everything sit in square. Do some clear varnish. Tip it upside down, get some in the cap. Open the cap, take your dubbing needle, dip it in, and put one, two good drops just behind the bead. Leave it soak, leave it dry, and there we are. That's my silver bug. If you're fishing a river, that's <coughs> excuse me, like I said, is a little bit coloured. Catches fish. What you can actually do as well, if you want, to give it a little bit more strength, if you take your varnish. And your needle once more, take a few drops and just put some droplets down the actual fairs and tail itself. Okay, when it dries, it disappears, but it makes the fly a lot more durable. Hope you've enjoyed it. That's my silver bug. Thanks for watching.